Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today we are doing a 24 by 30 inch canvas. This won't fit on my table so we're down here on the floor. I've got some base colours here, some Payne's grey, some white and some silver. And over here I've got some metallics. I've got the bronze, gold, champagne gold and a pearl colour. And I'll be using a black swipe mix. So let's get started. Okay, so I've come up with a little bit of a design on here, um, but knowing fluid art, it's going to stretch out. Completely different to what I've got on here. Um, you can't really see it, but I've got, I want silver going through the middle, some block of white up there and blocks of grey in the corners. Um, this canvas here is actually a watercolour canvas and I didn't realise when I bought it. So this will be a bit of an experiment. The only difference I can actually see is that um, my acrylic canvases are heavier. So they're like 380 grams, I think, and this is a 250. But otherwise, they seem to be the same. Oh, shall I get comfy? Yeah, so I had, um, I didn't have very much of this silver. Now, this silver is actually made up of, I think, four different paints, four different brands even. I've got like a Byron, which is I think an Australian brand. I've got Montmartre, I've got some Reeves, and I've got some Joe Sonia in there. So it's uh, quite the mixture. But I want that going through here. So I'm gonna pour that down first, just because I'm not sure how much of it I've got. Oh, this is always nerve-wracking. Now, one thing you got to realise when you're doing something like this, um, is that the the middle is going to stretch out wider than what you might think. So, when I did my design, I've drawn it small because I know it's going to stretch out. All right, let's leave that like that. I'm going to add my white next. And my grey will be going here. I hope I've got enough paint. I have got some spare grey in the bottle somewhere. I wonder if I've actually got some white as well. I'm a bit worried because I am. Um, I need it to um, flow down the sides, obviously. I don't feel like I've got enough here. I thought I had some more white. No, I've definitely got more grey. This grey is a little bit lighter. Um, but I want some more white. There you go, I found it. So I'm just going to take that out a little bit as well. Alright, now I'm going to do my swiping. Uh, so I want to go this way, this way, and this way. These two I want to cross. Let's do this one first. I'm do puddles. That might be a little bit wide for my palette knife. It is, but I've poured it now, so I might have to actually do a little swipe as well. And I'm going to have to 
do a second swipe using something a bit smaller, I would say. Okay. Might just add a little bit. Okay. These are opening up wide. Now I've got a big one on the other side. I'm going to start from up here. Now I'm not a big fan of those really bouldery looking things. Sorry if I get my head in the way. And that's interesting. Got some nice light lacing through there I like that but let me get the silver going through there like that just thinking now about this about taking maybe something through there This one was an unplanned swipe, but uh, let's give it a whirl. Just a little bit of interest. I think that's probably about it. Um, but I don't think there's enough paint on the canvas. So. Just going to paint my black corners grey. Just gonna 
use the brush to dab the corner so that it runs. I'm really going to have to uh, wipe that off because this is supposed to be a white corner. That was a mistake by me. Alright, let's hope there's enough paint on here. I'm not too sure how heavy this is going to feel. Some of these bubbles. Oh, it's a lot through the silver there. Now we've got some really big lacing coming through here with the champagne gold. But uh, it makes it a little bit different through that section. I think I want to come this way first. So let's have a go. There's a few bits in here. I pull them out. Oh wow, there's actually quite a few bits. No, they're definitely lumps, and I think it's one of my one of my um, colours. Actually. Okay. One of my colours is a bit thicker. Okay, it's the first time I've used this. Right. Just trying to get the perfect composition. sort of C shape happening there. Look at it from your angle. Mm, yeah. I think I want to go back that way a little bit. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I think I think I got it working well one way. Two ways. I will bring you in for the wet look. Oh, 
Uh, did you see that, guys? Right, so damage control. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so that was a disaster. And I'm just trying to work out what I can do here. I'm thinking about like a little swipe. Mm. So I'm gonna have to tip. I'm thinking. I might try a loaded swipe. Which I don't normally do. But, desperate times. Bit of light. Alright, let's try this. Kind of interesting. It uh, gives a bit of an arm stretch, lacing a bit. Hmm. Of course, I did prefer it much more before. Let's try tipping it. Bit. This actually down here, this was that big stuff that I didn't like. It looks really cool now. It looks like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, turn the camera off gently. Okay, here is the wet result. I'll bring it in to have a look at some closer. Got like the the black lacing through there. I think I overstretched things trying to fix. I, I actually really like this bit through here. Which is interesting and I've got my big block of silver which I was going for and my my corners that are both dark and then I've got my white up there and this is my little sort of fix all right I'll bring it back when it's dry okay here it is dry and I will show you something that I'm wondering whether it's caused by the watercolour canvas. Um, it's just very unusual the way it's broken up through here. Although, looking at this here, it's similar. So it could actually be the champagne gold maybe causing that. Um, I did have the champagne gold through here, which created those really big boulders which I really like now and it's interesting because I could see a painting using this kind of theme um, there's not I mean the shine 
There's a bit of shine through there. It'll be easier tilting it this way. It's quite big though. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can turn it around and hold the camera. Oh. Okay. So you can see some different angles. Is that way? And that way. Let's see. Even though it does fit on my bench this way, there's no way I could tilt because it, it would just tip on the floor. <laughs> So uh, it's kind of fitting that this one's going up today because today is actually my six month anniversary from doing my very first acrylic pour, uh, which was on the 27th of December. And then I did, if you're new here, I did a 30 day challenge of pouring every day for 30 days. So um, you can find that playlist on my channel if you're a beginner and want to see someone else struggling with acrylic pouring. Um, and here I am six months later. So I guess that's about it for this one. I'm I'm not happy with it. The repair job isn't great. And yeah, I'm just not happy with it. So I'm going to paint over this canvas. Because uh, the bigger canvases start getting up in price. And uh, I don't want to waste it. So I think... Um, if this is caused by the watercolour canvas, I'm with having a coat of paint on it, it shouldn't be a problem at all. So uh, it was great to get some experience painting on a big canvas. So yeah, looking forward to doing it again. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that helps other people find it. And um, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.